Yes, welcome back to the bumper breakfast this morning. The race for Lagos continues to, you know, get up. And everybody is racing towards, uh, we'll have just about 48 hours more uh, before everything, you know, gets out there. And there are so many titans in the game, I'm telling you, some people are indoors and some people, some people are, uh, you know, going places to get more support from Lagosians. I have on the show this morning, we have uh, the deputy governorship candidate of the Labour Party in Lagos State, you know, we have to be specific, here in Lagos State. Um, Princess Islamiat and Biodu Unti Fusi joining us on the Bumper Breakfast TV. Good morning. Good morning, Lagos. Good morning, Nigeria. It's, good, it's a pleasure to be on this program. And good morning to my good. great women of Valor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good morning. Good to have you here this morning. Thank you very much. And I think a lot of Lagosians, um, you know, see you in that um, picture, especially the one in the, in the posters, mm. good about in the native. And then today you're intentionally wearing sneakers and jeans and <laughs> t-shirt. Is that the, is it intentional? No, this is campaign clothes. Oh. <laughs> we go oh. on the road. We have a, a campaign, a last ditch rally today. Okay. And it's going through the stretch of Lagos East. Oh, okay. So okay. We're, we're half there. Okay. Pounding the pavement. Oh, okay. <laughs> Meeting That's our why. people, greeting our people and explaining our manifestos today. Okay, so yes, sir, we're here and it's the race for Lagos. So let me first of all say to you that um, from my calculation, my mm -hmm. personal calculation, I think um, the Labour Party has swept through Nigeria's political space mm -hmm. and seemed to have made a huge statement mm -hmm. that a lot of people can reconcile with what you know was said mm -hmm. from the very beginning. You know, it is responsible for that move. I think what is responsible is the youth. And the people like Nigerians, they want to change, a real change. They want to see development in the nation. They want to see inclusiveness. They want to see ease of doing business, ease of living. They want to have access to good services. They want what they go out there overseas to, to and they see and they enjoy and everybody. And they're wondering, why can't we have this in a nation that is, has the best resources in Africa, a nation that has the population, the, we call ourselves the giant of Africa. So at this point, the youth just want to be freed. Mm. The youth just woke up mm. and decided we're taking our nation back. Mm. We, we want to grow our nation. Mm. We, want, we want accountability. We're going to vote for people who can deliver. We're going to vote. Who we think can deliver. Who we think can, who do they, not think, who they believe. You have to, mm -hmm. it's the love. You, you have to see Labour Party, we don't have the bullion bank. We don't mm -hmm. have the resources. But what we have is the love of the people. They resonate with the, with the manifesto. They resonate with delivery. They resonate with accountability. They resonate with vision. Mm -hmm. And they, 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 they just want to change. Really okay, changed. so where I agree with you is on the uh, is in the part where we talk about the real change. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I kind of like agree with you. Mm -hmm. I also agree with you when you say that uh, they want a real change. That they they are tired, mm -hmm. basically, of the status quo. Mm -hmm. But I find it difficult to understand how you would say that uh, young people resonate with a manifesto, mm -hmm. because, for example, um, you engage a lot of young people. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking particularly about you. I'm talking in general terms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And many of them do not even know what the manifesto is. So a lot of young people, for example, the, the presidential election that came, mm -hmm. a lot of people just campaigned mm -hmm. for Labour Party based on anything Labour. See, we don't want just uh, press Labour, Labour, no, Labour, Labour. No, 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 but sincerely. No, 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 but sincerely. Uh, you go on social media, and I'm, and I'm being sincere. Because we're being truthful here. People, I'm not saying you didn't they, campaign. No, no, no. You know that people, the obedient movement started yeah. before Labour Party. That's they what I'm saying. went to Labour. They believed in what he did as a governor in Anambra. They, they saw his record. They believed in what he was selling. He was selling and development. They, and they took, took that. They took that. And, and then, then he went to Labour. Yeah. And then they voted Labour. That's right. Right. That's right. Now, that is Ubi. 
Yeah. But that is not the House of Rep, the House of Assembly, the Senators. No, but what the you see, in, what you see, let me, let me so explain. So, when we talk about manifesto, are you operating on Obi's manifesto? No, in our, exactly. man, our manifesto, you see, our governor, mm -hmm. um, Governor Balibo, our Lago. governorship candidate. Our governor, the new the new governor of Lagos State. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like it. You're prophesying now. Uh, it, um, it's, been, it's not a novice to, to um, politics, to Nigeria politics. It's not a novice to youth development. It's mm -hmm. a, not a novice to environmental impact issue. You know, it led the, it led the campaign, the protest to Senate. Mm -hmm. uh, look at there. It's, it's public record there. He, he ran for chairman. He started from chairman, running from chairman of a local government, and he was his youngest Lagos East senatorial candidate, Lagos West senatorial candidate, the youngest candidate, pure, mm. in 2019. He ran mm. for Lagos West Senate. And the difference between his vote and that of a three-time senator, which is Yayi, mm. that have been there three times, was very minimal. Yeah. You, you know I'm the aware, records. Aware aware. Aware. So it's not... He knew what he wanted to achieve. Mm -hmm. If you know a, a manifesto is out there, if a Lagos manifesto is the simplest and the most easiest to understand manifesto. It's on social media. Mm -hmm. It's in all the papers. It's on various Western. It breaks down in pure layman's language mm -hmm. what we want to achieve, what we're going to do in the first 100 days, what we're going to do in year one, what we're going to do in year two. It breaks down what can be done how Lagos can become the true cosmopolitan city that mm, it should that it be. Is. That it, 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 it should mm. be. Lagos is not a new city. It's not mm. a new state. It was the capital of Nigeria during the colonial masses. It was the commercial nerves. Lagos is the mm. face of Nigeria. It should not be where it is. From mm. the IGL that we generate internally, the fourth largest economy in, in Africa, mm. Lagos is known around the world. Yes. So people travel, people, all sort of things. So you, you take from that, if you mm. have the educational background, the spirit, mm. you take from there and you know where you should, these people should be, what services should be provided. And we mm. lay it down in black and white, in blame and mm. it's it's even it's, it's on the media, it's, on, on, it's trending on some newspaper site, and people take it. Mm. And they will, oh, they're going to do this. Mm. And we constantly say, if we don't deliver, you see, when you have a measurable target, when mm. you have a target that you can, that people can pinpoint and nail you down on, mm. you, they, if you don't deliver, you cannot go back to those masses and say, vote for me, I'm coming back. So it's, and our president, Peter Obi, with his vision, he didn't, he carries, when he picks you. The uh, presidential kind. Our president, Prito B. He's the president of Labour Party. <laughs> the president of Labour Party. Party. Yeah. The pre I mean, the. He's the president the, of Labour Party. Uh, the, it's uh, a of totally Labor. different thing. Different. Right. Labor we Labor. have to, you know. He's the governor of Labour Party. He's the governor of Labour Party. In Labour, we voted for him massively. Labour yes. State voted one for him. In Labour State, we won for him. So the young people voted. But what I'm trying to say is that. Let's be honest. Let's, let's be realistic with ourselves. Mm -hmm. The time has come to allow these young people to, 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 to rule the nation, to create. Okay. We're living in a go by environment. Jack mm -hmm. Conde so has me, no experience when he was governor, and he's still the best governor of Lagos State. No, no, no. But let, let me come back to I don't want to start disputing some of the facts because mm -hmm. you're here to campaign your manifesto. So. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about some of the issues that have been raised by the opposition against okay. your party. Okay. And it begins from the idea of uh, experience. Mm -hmm. And I like the fact that you went to Jack you, mm. you took me there. Mm. So when you say Jack had no experience, mm. do you mean Jack had not worked, or mm -hmm. had not ruled, mm -hmm. or had not contested, mm -hmm. or had not um, occupied public office? Mm. What exactly are you talking about here? Because but it does not compare with Jack Conde, mm. both in terms of how Jack Conde emerged as governor of Lagos mm -hmm. and Agbadebo intent to emerge governor of Lagos. So we're talking experience here. Mm. Can you put it side by side? Jack Conde has never better. been a governor of mm. any state. Of course. Peter B was 39 when he was elected governor of Alamba. He was never a governor of any state. But he had been the head of a bank. 
in yeah. the world, so, uh, in so, the private sector. So as Bedibo, Bedibo's experience so, is even more, no more dynamic for what is needed in Lagos State. Okay. You know why? So break because it he's an architect with an international background. He has helped them to plan cities. He has worked with the United States government. He has worked with the Chinese government. The experience are there. Oh, it of was, course, I've read the CV. So, the CV, I'm coming from a governance background. I've worked in private se public sector uh, in the UK, help them to bring governance framework. That's my specialty. We work, we build civil service services that benefit the people. We bring the framework for our government should be working. Hmm. We bring in that uh, experience. We work in multinational parties. When you bring all that experience yes. into, you don't have to be a governor to be. You, you don't have to have run as a governor. To of course, be, to I'm, be I'm, able I'm not to even talking about the best of governors. No, I'm not saying run as a governor. I'm yes. talking about experience. You yes. went there. Don't forget. You yes. said Jack Conde had no experience. Yes, Jack Conde was never you, a sitting governor of any state. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, Are you I saying he didn't best. have? governance experience but they add private sector yeah. and other kind of experience, experience. exactly so yeah. that's where i'm that's going what to. we have the same we've got the same so thing. break it down for people I'm who are saying you don't have. no what i'm saying is that gov because people are saying they're campaigning that oh let the experience because they've been in power and they've been governor that's what, it's not about that it's about having the knowledge and the skills it's about having the compassion it's about understanding governance and coming to deliver that. If you, if you can't give what you don't have. You okay. cannot give so, what you don't have. Um, a lot of people are calling to want to be a part of the show. 080-9396-2299 is the number to call. They've been calling, actually. So please feel free to call us. But before we take uh, any of your calls, don't forget to send SMS, WhatsApp, if we are not picking your calls. So you have the floor. <laughs> I, I honestly I I would say you really interested you have interested really have I'm interested in all that incited stuff. your interest basically. Yes. Yes. That's the whole purpose. You can rub minds and discuss politics. I like to be logical. Okay. You have let's ha, let's bring in a case study here. Mm -hmm. You have a company mm -hmm. that you have been growing mm -hmm. and it's uh, really growing to, you know. And um, all of a sudden, you need an MD. Hmm. Would you go, tell me the logic behind uh, you employing a fresh graduate as the MD of your company? I'll tell you the logic. The logic is a company called Facebook. The logic is a company called iPhone. Those are, you bring people that has the vision and the drive and the idea and the motivation. And if I was an MD, when I, was, when I graduated, let me tell you a story. When I graduated with first class distinction, and I wanted to go into civil service in the UK. I wanted to be a civil servant because civil service thing. You know, the civil servants in the UK, they are the engine room of UK. It's not the... It's no, not no, no. The civilians are there. Yeah, exactly. they are, they are, they are. I, was, I had to go through four levels of interview. Four levels. Mm -hmm. I was scaling one, scaling two, scaling three. And I got to the final levels with all these MPs and all this stuff. And they said to me, what do you think of the issue of Israel and Palestine? What do you, what, what do you think? How would you recommend? What, what, what would be your suggestion? And I spoke out of, I believe I spoke out of compassion for people. So I said, you have to create a buffer that everybody that wants to live in unity should be moved to the buffer zone and let the others, because mm. we can't go. And they looked at me in shock. And I was like, I, I was really proud of myself. <laughs> let, let me, me let me, let me, let okay, me, I'm coming to, they look at me I want to talk about and they few said, calls and I, I lost that, I lost that job because of that one statement. And I went back for a feedback. And they said to me, you want to allow people to continue to kill themselves mm. and take people out Who in, the, in the, uh, and create an environment, this cocoon environment for this group of people. Mm. So that's, and guess who got the job? A 21 year old that was, I was three years older, older with his spirit. Mm. He came with a vision of 
and it's and I'm telling you that's but that wasn't a job that, that wasn't a job that, for let, the MD let, of the company. Let, let's yeah, ask I, exactly. I, I give it. I give exactly. it. So, Mr. Roger, let's hold on to calls, calls first. Let's hold on to calls first. Our time is on. Yeah, because, yeah, I, because yeah, I, I really want to. I, 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 I particularly said the MD, mm. the mm. man at the helm. And I'm just giving you examples of that. Them. Job, I gave you two examples. That job is not. Then, I want you to talk about. I want you to talk, really talk about your, because you're here to talk about your candidate and your candidacy. That's why I'm asking this question because mm. I want you to sell it to me as well as sell it to uh, Lagosians. Mm. Now, you and I know that mm. theory differs from practical. Mm -hmm. I went to school. Mm -hmm. My the first course I did was uh, secretary administration. Secretary administration. Mm -hmm. I went back mm -hmm. those days where you have the box as your the, the computer. Mm -hmm. I went back. Mm -hmm. because I realized that I needed to be those days you know computers were just coming mm -hmm. I went back to you know get is a diploma in, in computer studies mm -hmm. I got back I did very well I did excellently well excellently well and I found myself at the office of the later uh, son GOK Ajayi and I found myself in front I, I spent over a year doing computer studies I found myself in front of you know, things that I'm just using that as a practical state. Things have mm -hmm. gone now that you can even learn a uh, uh, computer by yourself and all of that. I found myself in front of the system and I was lost. Mm -hmm. I felt I was good. I came from school at the best, was the best student and all of that. But I was lost there. But I already got the job. That was a saving grace. Before I went back because I needed to use computer when computers came. Mm -hmm. Do you know that the company had to employ someone to put me through. That is practical. Now, we're talking about this chief executive officer of Lego State. Mm. Do you now think that it's, that it's time for us to experiment? It's Despite, not an experiment. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. Let me, I want you to wrap up your thoughts. Yeah. Do you think we should experiment? Mm. Do you think, you know, tell us why okay. we should, you know, take a man Mm -hmm. that has that has not and you see when people come and tell me in the uk in the us in the no I'm this is nigeria, nigeria. No, 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 that we did i had this experience in the uk no, and no, this no, is nigeria is, you've been nigeria. in the uk I'm you know we have our peculiarities and yes, all of that so it's, it's way yes. different okay. so tell me someone that had not even had uh uh the slightest experience mm -hmm. in governance in, yes in governance tell me why i should vote for him to be the chief executive officer of the state all okay. right so one minute before you answer the question i'll take two calls so you can take it together mm -hmm. hello good morning hello good morning good morning your name and where you calling from i'm calling from my Giwaukaro. from where from Giwaukaro. okay Giwaukaro. can you turn down the volume of your television set completely you're speaking through your telephone now what you do is your name where you call it from and you make it fast in 30 seconds oh, so um let's have okay. so i really want you to sell your yeah, candidate i'm going to sell my candidate and i'm going to i'm going to start I, you have tried to sell me just somebody. Three minutes. I'm, you have tried to <laughs> sell, sell me somebody and i'm going to start okay. with why that cannot continue okay. first of all you have you said your governance experience if you have experience that low-income people the masses that you are building houses for and your low-income houses you have houses out there even in my own village costing 60 million that your people on low income cannot afford and cannot be that's a government that has experience a government that has experience you have people with covid when the covid period was coming they were sending the europe overseas sent covid palliative to Lagos. Mm. Federal government <coughs> said COVID palliative. And you share that COVID palliative to federal house and state assembly <coughs> members. And they, in turn, is there in, on the news in public or on all the video, mm. use that COVID for birthday party. That is a government that has experience that of 24. In Lagos. In this Lagos. In Lagos. We cover the COVID era. It happened in this Hold Lagos. It happened in Ikorodu. I Hold can them, tell you where Hello, it happened good morning. in Ikorodu. Hold on, please. Yeah, good morning, good morning. Your name and where are you calling from? Yes, my name is Shola and I'm calling you from Ayobo. All right, Shola from Ayobo. Let's quickly have your comments or your questions yes, for us. My address is to the, uh, the interview with the 
Madam Secretary, Secretary, that's not this. <laughs> you ask a question. Yes. Please. If not now, when? Hmm. You are not to ask me. You are not here to ask me a question. You are here to talk to the to our guests. If not now, when? We need a change. Thank you. We create God out of no no way. Thank you very much. The best is there now. The best are two and one. Please, we need it. We need something new. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Right. You can send an SMS uh, because she has just about three minutes before we let her go on the show. I want to take uh, qu questions from the people uh, so that you can answer some of these questions together. Please go ahead. Okay. You said it's Lagos. It's not a coro It's not Lagos. It is Lagos. No. You mm. even have proof. I have proof. Good. The Korodu rep for assembly was Deputy Speaker Agod um, SOB, they call him. Hold the palliative. The it's not let SOB. 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 All the yeah. palliative for Ikorodu was found in his house. The pictures are there. It's the all over. Yes. yes. It was all over. When they broke into his house after angry riot, they found everything stored mm. in his house. With what kind of government? Is that experience? Experience. And that's the House of Rep member. House of Assembly. House, house of, of Assembly. assembly. Okay. Um, what's it called? We have. Have you been on the road of Lagos? This, this government has been sitting down here for 24 years mm. since democracy, 1999. Okay. Have you been on the road? Okay, but you can't. Yes, I want to wrap our thoughts. Hold on, Mrs. Fred. Wrap our thoughts with what would you do differently? What would we do differently? Yes. I really want you to say what you're doing. We build all the institution that makes the government that has been turned down. We're going to make it so that our government functions effectively for every city. Institutions like like education, like the law, like the judiciary, like um um what's it called infrastructure, like um civil service. All that is going to be rebuilt. We're going to bring our schools. You're going to rebuild it, as in you're going to abandon all that. No, no, no. And engineer the whole process. process. Our public schools, yes. do you know that only 15% of, of, of children are in mm. Lagos State Public School at primary school level? And 25% are secondary school level. That means the chunk of all our children, even people on low income, they are all gone to private school yes. that they can't afford to sustain. We are going to bring, rebuild our public school to the level of the private school. Pay our teachers to the level of the private school so that the no, people are the private schools don't pay as much as the public schools in the West. Well, we, well that's, that's not that's not what we've been that's, we, that's, that's, that's not what we are saying. We are going to because build many our of the school. private school teachers are even lobbying to come into the public no, school system. schools like I don't want to mention not schools private. in the rural areas. The, even there yeah. are private schools in the rural in, in the Korodu, you will see some private schools are barely. There are about 3,000 3, private schools in Lagos. When I, was working, when I was working in the educational sector, I see a lot of schools that I've never seen before in my life. Like th about 3,000 of them. And some of them are not even registered. And you know the teachers earn as little as 15,000, 20,000 in a month? But then somebody said to me last week, this person works in one of the schools that I know kids pay as much as 200,000 to go to. And she wants to go to the private sector, to the public sector. To go work because she found the essay to the governor of Lagos State on education on my show. Oh, yeah. Aditola Salau. Mm -hmm. So she sent a message to me and said, Ah, so let me see. That Please, can you help me in reach a out? million? No, but hold on. <laughs> let, me, let me just say exactly what she said. What do you know let me just say exactly what she said. She said, Ah, to me see. Hey, Joe, can you please introduce me to that woman? No, that let's just let, let, let us let let go to the me. private sector. And I'm like, You want to go to the public sector to go? Is your school not paying? And she mentioned her salary. So and I said, don't worry, I will reach out. So I went to the woman. And I said, please, how much do you pay teachers mm. in Lagos? Because they I have their to, level. Their I, wanted level to, I wanted to know, you know. And then when she told me, I now understood why the woman in question wanted to. But that, that's let a, let a let just by the way. Let's see, let's wrap up. Our, 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 as our, we round up, as we round up, yes. we'll be in terms of infrastructure, in terms Good. of education, Good. we'll be on the same path as any top private school there. So the people have a choice. Our okay. aim is to bring that fifteen percent right up to fifty. Good. By the time we're leaving office in four years, 
we are going to, it's something that is going to be measurable. And to so bring that 25% in secondary good. school right up to 50. That's so good. the people have a choice. That's good. And that's education. Mm. We are going to provide health care. Health care. We want mm. Lagos State to be the tourism, health tourism of Africa. All our health, you see, when you have a community of 500 people, mm. you have to have health care in there mm. as a minimum health center. I am, I'm going to keep mentioning the ones that I know. Mm. If you go to Imota, Imota has a the population primary health care yeah, center. about oh, close to 800. Mm. The primary health care center is about this first square room, mm. and there's nothing there. I have the video. I can put it there. We are going to provide you with health care center that, that will do better. That you do better so that you don't, you have that first level of health care mm. and you don't have to travel to General Hospital. Every to health have to have mm. it. Then a community in the As rural, we, we are going to have mobile health center. Yes, that yes, 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 yes. travel. So please, <laughs> enjoy the day. The generation is coming. All right, thank future. you so much. I guess this, this morning. Thank you. Uh, has been the deputy governorship candidate of the Labour Party here in the city of Lagos. You're looking at uh, pr uh, Princess Islamiat Abdullah. In the first, it's a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you very much, Lagos. All right, so we wish you all Thank of the you. best. Thank you. And I hope that you'll be back next week so that we can talk some more. And yes. You know, maybe do a little bit of a review yes. of how it all went. Definitely. It's a pleasure to be here. It's lovely to meet all of you. You're doing great yeah. job. Thank, Thank you. you very much. All the rest. Yeah. We'll take a break. When we come back, we're still talking some more and it's about Lagos. This race to the governorship seat is hitting up. They are real. They are the drama queens of Abuja. If you're not real, you will be consumed, okay? Stop calling me my mom Joe. You're fucking you me. We have you an intruder in the house. The meter of the disgrace is rising. You're old. Who said I need deliverance? Ha! Deliverance! It wasn't me, but she got me on the hmm hmm. Wasn't it? I have had to me aside for a chat. No, no, no. The real housewives of Abuja, only on Showmax. To watch this and other Showmax originals, simply add Showmax to your DSTV subscription using the My DSTV app.